मुझको इतना बताए कोई कैसे तुझसे दिल ना लगाए कोई रब्बा ने तुझको बनाने में कर दी है उसने की खाली दी जोरिया काजल की सिया ही से लिखी है तूने जाने कितनों की लव स्टोरिया केसरिया तेरा इश्क है पिया रंग जाऊं जो मैं हाथ लगाऊं दिन बीते सारा तेरी फिक्र में रहन सारी तेरी Do you want to learn Arijit Singh songs and perform them effortlessly on the guitar? Then on the channel I am starting a new series where I'd be teaching you some of my personal favorite Arijit Singh songs. So what do you have to do? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to subscribe to the channel and when you come back I'm going to teach you the song Kesariya from the movie Brahmastra. What's up everyone welcome back to learn guitar online india this is dhanesh and today we'll be learning the song kesariya from the movie brahmastra the topic for this lesson came through a comment by sagar tiwari on one of my previous videos for finger style guitar if there are any specific topics related to guitar or music that you would like me to cover through these lessons then please put your suggestions in the comment section So here I'm not just going to teach you the song but I'll also give you an easier version. So if you're an absolute beginner player you'll still be able to play the song. So if you really want to learn the song faster then the first thing you should do is to get rid of your guitar. <laughs> Instead grab a piece of paper and pen or pencil and break down the song into different sections. It will make learning the song much easier and you'll be able to play it faster than what you generally do when you sit with the guitar trying to learn different chord progressions go from start to the end so this is an example of how the song is broken down for example in this song i have broken it down into three different sections that is verse pre chorus and chorus this song the verse section is the one which the song gets started with and the pre chorus section according to me is the one that comes just before the chorus So in the verse section we have two chords here that is C major and F major and then that gets repeated two times okay so it goes something like mujhe ko itna bataye koi and then that section is repeated so you have to go back and play the same two chords again in the pre chorus section you will play four chords C major E minor F major and then G major and again you have to repeat this because this whole line repeats itself and in the chorus section you have similar set of chords that you played previously but just the order is different so you for the first time when you start you will play c major f major and e minor and then second time you will go from c to f to e minor and you will play g at the end So now that you have a fair understanding of how the song is made up what are the different sections let's learn these sections in isolation first before you actually try to put these things together so target it section by section and don't get stuck on one section once you feel like you've learned the chords in one section move on learn the chords in the next section and then practice them in isolation before you try to put them together so for the first section your chord are c major which if you are an intermediate player if you know the shape already you have your ring finger on the third fret of fifth string you have your middle finger on the second fret of fourth string and your index finger would be playing the first fret of the second string and you will play five strings only you will not play the sixth string and you hear this sound when you play c major from c major you're supposed to go to the f major chord now if you want a slightly easier version of the chord then you can bring this ring finger down to the 
third fret of fourth string move this middle finger to the second fret of the third string and then you create sort of a bar with your index finger on the first two strings now even if you don't play the first string it's okay if you just mute it with your finger and you get these three notes this one this one and this one you'll still be able to play the F major chord now in the beginning I told you that I'm going to give you easier versions of these chords so that you can play the song even if you are an absolute beginner so here is what you will do if you have never played the guitar if you are learning it for the first time then instead of playing this whole shape of C major like this you will play C only on the top three strings which is string number three two and one and you will put your index finger on the first fret of the second string and you will play the chord like this isn't that easy even if you're an absolute beginner you'll be able to play this for F major it will be slightly tricky in the beginning because it will be difficult for you to move both these fingers on different strings while you're trying to create a bar here so you can eliminate this part and you can again play the same shape on the top three strings if you find it difficult to get the bar down on these two strings here then i would recommend that you start practicing the bar somewhere higher on the fretboard so maybe start it on 10th fret and then move it and slowly get it to the top and then you put your finger down and play this chord like this all right so those are the two chords that make up the verse section and it goes something like this Then you repeat. And for beginners, it will be like this. Once you have learned that section, then you can go to pre-chorus where you have four chords. One is C major, which we just played. And then you have to learn two new chords, E minor and G major there. For E minor, I prefer using middle finger and ring finger and putting them on second fret of fifth string and fourth string and then playing all six strings. There's no hard and fast rule. You can play that with these two fingers also whatever you prefer okay I prefer doing it with these two fingers and for G major the notes that you have to play are the sixth string third fret the fifth string second fret and more importantly the third fret on first string so there are two shapes that you can play if you are an intermediate player either you can use this shape where your middle finger is playing the third fret of sixth string your index finger is playing 2nd fret of 5th string, your ring finger is playing 3rd fret of 2nd string and your pinky is playing 3rd fret of 1st string and here you are also covering this note on the 3rd fret of 2nd string which is not necessary, you can actually play the shape like this also, an easier way of playing G major, especially if you are going from chords like E minor. So here you'll be putting your ring finger on the 3rd fret of 6th string and you'll be putting the pinky finger on the 3rd fret of 1st string. Okay, so you'll play this chord progression going from C, E minor, F, G and then repeat. Now for beginners, you will 
play C like we saw in the previous section like this. F major also still remains like that. Now E minor is the easiest one to play for everybody, all beginners especially. So for E minor you don't fret anything, you just play these three strings open. And G major, you'll just use either your pinky finger or the uh, ring finger and put it on third fret of first string and you'll get G major. So for you, the progression will sound like this. Then you'll repeat. C minor, I'm not fretting anything. F Okay, so in the chorus section when you play these same chords in a different order first time when you play the progression going from C to F to E minor while singing you have to ensure that you start at the right place so it goes and that's when you start playing then you go to F then you take a pause, brief pause and then you start the progression again. And at the end you play the G major chord again. Now for more intermediate to advanced players who are familiar with 7th chord shapes, you can add a G7 chord at the end. That will help for better resolution when you come back to your home chord of C major. So there it is. I hope you had fun learning the song. And like I said in the beginning in this series of lessons, I'm going to cover some of my favorite Arijit Singh songs. So if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe.